Sharks have a reputation for being one of the scariest fish in the sea, and Florida has now been named the shark bite capital of the world. But do we really need to fear sharks? I don't know why I'm asking. <laughs> Christian Benavidez dives into that to answer that question. <laughs> Florida native Forrest Crook now looks a former fear right in the eyes. The 68-year-old is swimming just above a bull shark, and that's me next to him, shark snorkeling. When I decided to do this, it was one of those things that I thought, okay, I'm going to do it. Um, I'm not afraid. You got to get the right shark, the right conditions. Ryan Walton runs Shark Tours Florida in Riviera Beach. Hell yeah! taking the curious and courageous straight to the sharks. People fear what they don't understand. Once people understand sharks and what sharks are about, it's easy to coexist with them. Fear of sharks is at least partly driven by headlines like those proclaiming Florida the global shark bite capital. Last year, there were 57 unprovoked shark bites worldwide, 16 in Florida. Of all the attacks, five were fatal. The truth is you're far more likely to die by a lightning strike or be killed by a cow than from encountering a shark. Most of these bites aren't really dangerous at all. Marine biologist Mike Heithouse says shark bites are usually a case of mistaken identity. They see a hand flash and it looks like a fish that they might eat. Experts say you can minimize the risk of a shark encounter by swimming with a buddy closer to shore and avoiding the water at night. Advice Crook says he's followed each of the 14 times he's now been swimming with the sharks.